Howdy viewers and welcome to today's vlog. Um, when I got up this morning, or not quite this morning, I got ready and I put my makeup on in order to look nice for this. And I made such an effort, I began speaking to myself in the mirror as if I were recording a tutorial for YouTube. Don't know why, I'm a bit insane like that. However, it is now 10 to 12 p.m. I've basically been working non-stop since about half two. I don't understand how it took me so long to get what I got done done. I haven't even finished all my work. I wasn't even that distracted. I, I, I don't know. But um, anyways, I made myself look like this and then didn't leave the house. So I thought, you know what? I plan to make a video. I will make a video even if I if, even if I can't talk. This, this is the fourth time I've recorded my intro. So yeah, sorry. Sorry for any tiredness and weirdness and sorry for the huge mess. I don't even know what half of that stuff is. It will all be sorted in the near future and you'll see why soon. But yeah, anyways, let's get on. So today I am going to talk to you about things you should be happy about or things that as a student you learn to be happy about. And number one on my list is dishwashers. Pretty self-explanatory, saves so much time, so much effort, and saves a lot of skin in your hands as well because all that water's not good. And when when you live with five other people who are also lazy teenagers, the sink gets just fill up of horrific stuff, including plates and pans and food, and it, it becomes impossible to actually do any washing up. So dishwashers are, are, are my number one. Two is a washing machine that you don't have to pay for. Now you're, you're gonna be saying, hang on a sec, you need to pay for your bills, your, your, your water and your electricity, and you need to pay for the liquid and the powder and the things you put in it. But I automatically pay for my water and electricity bills when I pay my rent. I also buy my own two-in-1 bold liquid. I still have to pay three pounds every time I use the machine and 50p for every 20 minutes I want to put my stuff in the tumble dryer. Now when you're doing towels and sheets, they need at least an hour. No matter what you say, they need at least an hour. So that's an extra £1.50, which means if I'm washing both my sheets and towels and my clothes, there's £9 just to have clean stuff. It's it's kind of ridiculous. From After speaking to people, I think my university is sort of a, the one of the highest, not the highest, but one of the highest for what they charge, and it's just... It's unbearable. <laughs> Number three is thick toilet paper or loo roll, depending on how posh you are. I was home for about 10 days just recently um, over Easter and I kept blocking up the toilet because I've got so used to needing lots of loo roll just to wipe my arse without covering my hand in disgustingness that I was taking this really nice, thick, expensive Andrex loo roll and just shoving loads of it down the loo and it was getting blocked. But when you go home after being here for a while and you use that, it's just bliss, absolute bliss. Because I mean, the stuff they have in the actual university, particularly the bars, is like the worst you can buy. It's, it's not even sandpaper, it's too thin. Like it doesn't do its job, it is so thin. So having, having a nice loo roll is just, just a luxury. Number four is Hoover's The Work. My floor is a complete and utter disgrace. It is full of fluff, but more than anything, hair. It's the type of carpet you get in like schools and everything just clings to it, particularly curly hair. And the only hoover we have here is a, is a very old Henry. So it's difficult to use that as it is because it's sort of like you're bending down and you're shoving it everywhere. But the worst thing is that it absolutely stinks. So to be honest, it, I just I can't bear using it. So my floor just stays disgusting. So yeah, I think I think tomorrow I'm gonna have to have to get the Hoover out and face face the music. Number five is storage. Um, here I have a few drawers, a few shelves, a very small wardrobe, and to be honest, that's about it. And for someone who's a bit of hoarder, that's that's just not enough. You know, it's. I guess it's, it's more space than storage because to be honest, I don't get where they would put any other storage. Where my friends live in in a in this flat's called Swanborough, their wardrobes are like twice the size, which um, I'm, I'm, I've been jealous of all year because with a wardrobe that size, I could have just jumped. See what I mean about not being able to speak? I could have just dumped all my stuff 
in there and not had to worry about it being all around me. Number six is pot noodles and other ready meals. I I until recently was literally living off pot noodles. I love I love it particularly when I come in after a night out and I'm still drunk and I just get that little midnight hungriness. I am always hungry from about 11 o'clock onwards no matter what I've eaten at what time. I'm always always hungry in the early hours and pot noodles are just so easy. There's so many of them to try and it just yeah they're awesome. I mean I'm now trying to live a slightly healthier lifestyle so I'm basically finishing the pot noodles I have and vowing never to buy any more again. Done the same with crisps and things like that but doesn't mean I don't eat other ready meals because God knows it, I absolutely love mac and cheese. I, I love anything with cheese in it really, but mac and cheese is just so, so creamy and so cheesy and it's just great when you don't have much in your fridge or you can't be bothered to cook, which during this kind of time, you know, deadlines and things, that's, that's kind of my soul feeling. Number seven is good Wi-Fi. Now, I'm not saying the Wi-Fi I have at home is great. It's, it's not. There's five of us constantly using it at the same time. It's never, ever great. But the Wi-Fi here is just ridiculous. Like, I was in the library a few weeks back. It's not even coming up to deadlines yet, so it's not even particularly busy or more busy than normal. However, I opened up my laptop to start my work and it just would not connect. I restarted it, connected for about 10 minutes and it stopped connecting. In the end, I thought, I am not putting up with this. I'm not sitting here just restarting my computer every 10 minutes. I went home, tried logging in at home, same thing. I had to restart about four times before I got a good connection. It's frustrating and especially when you start watching loads of TV like I've recently been doing. I've, I've recently become very very obsessed with Grey's Anatomy. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> Number eight is like you gone from that actually which is uh, the internet in general and I don't just mean for research because to be honest I hate using the internet for research it's way too big but for entertainment it is brilliant. It's brilliant for watching things, brilliant for sort of just reading things. I love reading the news online and it when you're living alone and you don't really have many friends and you don't really have much work because you're doing a coursework based degree is what I'm doing. Nighttime nighttime brain. You know, you need entertainment and the internet just gives that to you so easily as I said, Grey's Anatomy love it. Number nine is independence and this is something that you don't get until you come to university. You may think you're an independent person because you walk to school on your own or whatever but trust me until you have to get yourself out of bed and make yourself go to classes you're not. The other day I got um, reached a really great milestone in my life actually in that my nurse finally gave me a repeat prescription for my medication which means I can now just go and get it whenever I want. Originally she made it so that I had to go visit her every time I needed meds so I now have full control over them which is just great for me it's, it's a huge step and I'm really really very happy. Number 10 is the most important. I, I can see I'm running out of space on my camera so I've got to be quick but uh, number 10 is just mums. Now I'm not saying my dad isn't great, my dad is great, we have a great relationship, we have a great bond, lots of things we like to do together but, but mums, they're the ones that do the cooking and the washing and all the cleaning and to be honest just all the caring and my mum is just the most amazing person ever and if you're a mum and you're watching this and you think your kid has gone to university and for, 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 forgotten about you trust me they haven't because mums are just they're just amazing and so to you my mum thank you so much for everything you do I uh, I'm sure you know from the amount of calls I make I miss you every single second of the day and all the stuff you do for me and I do appreciate it even if you think I am just a lazy person who doesn't care about anyone but myself. I do, I promise. So that's my list of 10 things to be happy or grateful about. Um, if you've got anything that you're particularly happy and grateful about at the moment, why don't you leave it in the comments section below and I will reply to anyone that comments because as you can see, I, I only have one subscriber at the moment. Which to be honest is a bad thing because I've already got a video. But um, yeah, as I said, leave it in the comments section below and we can set up a whole list of things to be happy about so thank you for watching and i hope you'll be seeing me again very soon goodbye button work hello
and welcome to my slightly altered, hopefully better, end screen. Um, I'm still running out of time, so I've got to say this all quick, but click me to subscribe, click next to me wherever the box is to see my last video above me. The link should now work to my blog. If it doesn't, there's a link in the description below. Don't forget to comment, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, of course. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.